we will continue to support this bill. I call Maureen Pugh. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr Chair. I stand um, in support of this bill today and to the Enhancing Identity Verification and Border Processes Legislation Bill. And so we, ha we have heard today that this bill is in the name of the Honourable Amy Adams and, uh, and as a result of the government inquiry into the matters that um, relate to the escape of Philip John Smith, trainer, um, who did manage to acquire a passport and leave New Zealand and end up in Brazil while he was on temporary release from prison. And the inquiry found that it was through inadequate sharing of information between some agencies uh, that this um, was actually possible. So this bill, sir, sets out to close those loopholes that found uh, Mr Smith, or trainer, um, able to abscond from New Zealand. Um, this part one of this bill uh, is the part that amends the Privacy Act, sir, which is the principal part of this bill, and it relates to the, um, to the identity information and in the accessing of that information. <coughs> Um, attached to the bill is Schedule 4A. Schedule 4A sets out the list of agencies who are able to access information, and they include the Department of Corrections, uh, the Department of Internal Affairs, the MB, um, the Immigration, uh, Ministry of Health and DHBs, New Zealand Customs Service, and New Zealand Police. And the holder agencies of that information include those agencies I've just listed and also include New Zealand Transport Authority. So included in the information that is able to be accessed uh, is the information that is known as biographical details, and they include the name, the address, the date of birth, and the gender of the person. And um, the biometric information includes things like a photograph or facial recognition or iris uh, photography. Um, it's, the details are, that are expected to be accessed would well, include things like uh, the person's travel documents, their uh, certificates of identity, and distinguishing physical features, such as um, uh, amputations, uh, tattoos, or birthmarks. So, sir, um, the reporting of this information that is being shared as part of the accountability uh, to this bill requires that the chief executives of the holder agencies must also report on the, in every annual report, the um, details of the operation of this part of the bill and also um, in, in terms of Schedule 4A. Um, there was a great deal of uh, consideration given to the Privacy Commissioner's response and in um, relation to the uh, Orders in Council, the Minister in making any adjustment to the schedule uh, must be satisfied that this relates to the specific function of the uh, ex assessing agency and the identity information um, must actually be reasonable uh, to the purpose for which it is being sought. So um, it, that's the, um, con my contribution today, sir, and I thank you. Um, Peter, uh, William Seo. Mm -hmm. Mr Chairman, thank you for the uh, opportunity to speak. 